All right, guys. Grand finals. Swap small battlefield and final destination in the current rule set with Castle Siege and WarioWare. Down, I'm putting it in the Genesis rule set. Bro, not even Donkey Kong. Literally any fucking character on that stage. You're gonna get like Greninja F thrown and just die at 70. Dr. Mario, down throw, down bead, kills you at like 20%. <clears throat> Wagner, come over to my house after this tournament. We're gonna test out the rule set. I just feel like we need some kind of some kind of wrench thrown into the uh, thrown into the mix with this game. It's getting a little bit too like flow charty. I don't know. Like it needs something more chaotic to be into the mix. <clears throat> okay, but hear me out. Castle Siege. Like I know you want to play it. I talk like a Riot Balance team member. Bro, they should hire me. But I also, I I semi-agree with that formula. I think that when things start to stagnate, people get bored. Um, and when the meta is chaotic and you can do a lot of different things, it's, it's fun. It might not be the best for competitive. Obviously, there'll still be like S tier picks, but like, all I'm saying is like, Season five, like season four through six of League of Legends was the best the game ever was from not only a competitive standpoint, but just just as a fun to play game. And there's I don't I don't I don't give a fuck what you have to say about that. That's just true. Yeah, Smash Bros. It's a party game for, for children. Um, I mean, whenever this is over, so it's 10.30 right now. <clears throat> this could go past 11, depending on if Ace uh, resets, which isn't unlikely. Bro, Alex, you're taking it too personally. I can say whatever I want, actually, because I have freedom of speech. Uh... But I, I do play this game. I'm not able to compete. It's not a choice. It is it is just I run all of the fucking tournaments that happen in the area. Ratio plus your dad is a Scientologist plus you think Marth has to work harder than Wolf. Jack, you joined at the perfect time. We're talking about how uh, how Smash needs to have a wrench thrown into the mix and uh, add something like Castle Siege or WarioWare back to the active rule set because the current rule set is like stagnating and the stage list is boring. And yeah, Jimmer going gamer mode. To be fair, uh, the two of the three games that he took off of versus Dace and winners were against his random and he got Falco and Little Mac. So. He did get that final game five off of the Samus, though. Okay, yeah, so Lilat, if Lilat didn't 
if, if Lilat wasn't like fucking impossible for people with any kind of eye issue to like actually see what was going on on the stage, I think it'd be perfect. I love the platform layout. Like I think it actually is, you know, a counter pick. It, it feels like it's adding something different, but it's just like, yeah, you can't see certain things on the stage, which sucks. Yeah, he actually went random. He was like, I'm gonna go random until someone makes me feel challenged. And then uh, I think he went random like his first set. Or he, he swapped to his main in his first set. No. Yeah, duck hunt used to be legal. We can't say fucking anything. That stage was legal for like two years in Smash 4. Actually longer than that. Wasn't it legal like almost all the way through until the end of the game? There was like a year where duck hunt wasn't legal. Halberd, yeah, Halberd was legal at one point. Let's go, Jim Roo. Duck Hunt was so fun. I agree. Yeah, Bootless was here. Um, he showed up Omega late, and he communicated with me that he was going to be Omega late. So he had to play from losers. Still did pretty decent. Um, but yeah, he, he did have to play from losers because he didn't get here until like 745. Okay, North are kind of sick, though. I just think that, like, wacky stages are, are cool. It adds, like, another layer of depth to, of depth to the game, you know? Like, I think that... I think that Yoshi's Story Melee is, like, one of the... Is, like, the best stage in the Melee rule set. And it's like, bro, there's so many cool things that can happen. Like... Like, Randall is the coolest part of the rule set. Man, I wish we played Hazard's off. Alright, it's gonna be a back air. 72%. He did... He recovered from worse in Game 5 of Winner's Finals. This is in, insanely doable. Plus, Ace just, does, just doesn't get to charge... Uh, charge shot very much on this platform layout when the, when the stage is transformed like this. Ooh, the Tomox! Okay. No punish on the up B. That move is so fast. What do you mean Randolph got fat? What does that even mean? Fat as in like he's bigger now? Oh, this is scary. Okay. Oh. oh, he's just weaving. Oh, there's no punish. He's so nervous. I like when Randall can only fit, like, one character, barely. Oh, he's just dead. First ace going up. Two to zero in this grand finals set one. Switch. Where is she? Where is she? I don't know where she is. Oh. Three, two, one, go! Who does Titanium Jim play? Does he still just play Peach? Because I don't think this is tiny. This isn't Titanium Jim. This is like Aluminum Steven. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Alright guys, do you think he gets a stock on this character? Because I'm, I'm saying no. I got five on Jimrud not taking a stock with his Palutena. Come on guys, who's got five? Who's got five on Jimrud taking a stock? I got five on Jimrud not taking a stock with Palutena. <laughs> Y'all were right to not take my five. No! Stream elements! Fuck off! I'm banning stream elements. <laughs> 